everybody, this is Boaz Nia calling with the weekly astrological <coughs> message, right? And Georgia is here too. And we're in my new home. And this is for the 15th to the 22nd of February to 2020. Wow. Time flies. So you could see a little bit of my new home here. And Georgia is having fun. She loves it. And if you look closely through the mirror right over there you could still see that there are some carton boxes that i still need to put away in the hallway but it's taking its shape there's some still some pictures behind me i need to hang but you know shelves are there which is one thing so how are you been doing all of you i want to thank you for the love and support and there's a couple of very dear ladies in the States and in Canada that I need to call. But doing all of this, doing all of this apartment was such hard work that every night I just fell asleep early. And the night time is the only time that I can call from Israel to the States or Canada because of the time difference. I don't want to be waking you up. So, Shayla... My beautiful Shayla, you are amazing. What you wrote me touched my heart. Not mentioning that you quoted my favorite book ever. Thank you for being there. I will call you. And I will, everyone else who wanted to schedule a meeting with me while I'm in the southwest of the U.S. in April or in Amsterdam. I'll be visiting Amsterdam the first week of April and I'll be uh, moving through California, Nevada, Arizona, and Utah in April. If you want to have a personal meeting with me or come to one of my lecture or workshops, you can contact me. I'll be going around. And you could see my schedule. Best to contact me, but my schedule will be online soon. In Georgia. Come, we didn't see you in the videos for a long time. Come, come. Come here. Don't be afraid. Here. You feel, you feel there's no space for you here on my lap? No? Come. There you go. Hello. So George is happy in the new home, and so are we. Both Boaz and Nia were very happy. And update in one and a half months probably HRT hormone replacement therapy very excited um, let's talk about the energy through the next few weeks and through this week in particular um, we're heading into a more Parisian era in the sky a time in which our need to recoil and let passivity dominate and go back into our womb-like essence, whether it is our home or beds, sleep, or just any bubble that we can jump into that is warm and fuzzy and nice and takes us away from the anxiety, the stress and the changes, the transformations that are all around us and both personally and collectively in our lives right now. However, in psychology, these are called dysfunctional circles because we always or almost always do it through one of our senses. We either uh, emotionally eat or have sex or buy something or use some kind of material like alcohol or other substances to take our mind away from the anxiety and feel fuzzy and warm and nice for a while but when that bubble bursts time has lapsed our troubles have not been taken care of anxiety jumps back up to a higher level and our need to disconnect jumps up again and that's why it's a circular dysfunctional motion in our lives so it's not necessarily the answer to what we should be doing with this Piscean energy in the sky in a Mercury retrograde starting this week, the 16th, in Pisces, conjunct Neptune. So, what we can do is transmute that energy 
to the spiritual, artistic, and creative and collective levels. Take the higher side of Pisces and Neptune. Adopt your actions, your words, your thoughts, your navigation to collectively, communally work together. Think of unity. Think of the sameness of things, of people, of the, the mutual needs that we all have no matter what our opinions are. Things that are there before opinions and thoughts and words, things that were there much before, that were un that are still uncorrupted by these formations and have something pure and more unified and, and more holistic uh, and, and holistic essence to them. Unfortunately, whenever there is a lot of mutable energy in the sky, it's prime time for any new plague to break out. So corona warning um, but i i'm not you know i'm not anxious about corona or any virus <coughs> <coughs> joking god forbid but um you know statistically i could get run over and crossing the road much much more lightly than dying from any virus so take things in proportions people okay and to all, all my friends in China, to all my friends in China, wear your masks. <laughs> I love you. And ho hold in there. And it's, it's a scary time. When there's too many people on the globe, things like that are bound to happen. And when there's mutable energy in the sky, things spread. Things spread. And this is a prime time for errors, this Mercury retrograde. So if you do some errors, don't be too angry with yourselves. But we could see some errors with governments, with leadership. And hopefully we're not going into deteriorate into a situation that is erroneous in relationships between different nations and powers at this time. Um, Mars comes to our aid as it ingresses into... Capricorn, exalted in Capricorn, enabling that young warrior to see things strategically, to channel that brute energy into an effort that is stable, that is mature. Actually, Sunday is a good day to progress things with work, if you, if you can do some work Sunday. Saturday, the 15th, is a great day to be outside. It's a great day for philosophy, for studies, for just having fun, for intimacy sexuality and even research um, the 17th Monday um, also a good day for money good day to ask for a raise <laughs> and even though Mercury is turning retrograde on that day so make sure you are clear with your communications but the moon is going to try in Venus and just the day before it, it was sextiling Saturn. So, it could be uh, not such a bad idea. And Mercury is turning retrograde. I think it's on the 12th degree of Pisces. It's going to be retrograde for the next three weeks or so. It's going to go into the twenty up to the 28th degree, if I'm not mistaken, of uh, Aquarius. And then back into Pisces. I think it was March 6th that it stops its retrograde and we're still in the shadow of the retrograde up to the beginning of April. So things are lifted and run more smoothly from the beginning of, of March, like up after the turning direct. But then up to the beginning of April, we're still not out of the shadow and things are still not as fast and as flowing as they could be. Um, Tuesday the 18th be careful of your aggressions and passions and don't be too direct and don't be too hasteful in dismissing people or, or lashing out on others the sun is ingressing into Pisces heightening the Piscean energy in the sky I was talking about in the beginning of the video but the moon that day is conjunct Mars that's why I was saying don't be too harsh don't be too full of male energy or just 
acknowledge male energies within you and within your environment that day without being reactive. Wednesday is a fun day to have fun. And especially if you are on Eastern European time, the night time is going to be a lot of fun with the moon conjunct Jupiter. Um, it's a great day, time to actually go out and enjoy yourself or have a good uh, uh, time with people who are older or, or higher in stature than you are um, that outrank you in some way. And of course, if you are in New York, it would be your morning noon time. If you are in Australia, it would be the next morning. It would be Thursday morning for you. Um, and Thursday, Eastern European time, the moon would be conjunct Pluto and Saturn, and that's a bit heavy. So don't let drama or moodiness swell in your life that day. But from the night time, Thursday the 20th, things lift. Uh, there's a, a, a lifting of energy towards the end of the week, and we could feel it from Wednesday onward with the trine from Mars to Uranus being exact on Friday. And this is a time we all fill up with an energy that demands us to walk forward and do things. And we could be much more hasteful, we could be uh, not as calculated. So I do want you to be calculated, but I want you to utilize and harness that energy to actually take things forward in your life, to free yourself from things that need, need to be untangled from you and actually create more autonomy and, and, and a new, more realigned road. For you. This is a time for realignment of our actions, Mars. And Uranus always talks about the realignment that is unique to us, not to anyone else. And of course, we could be meeting new friends and new groups as well. However, the 21st is also the time that Mars would be squaring Chiron. Exactly. Whenever we have a Mars square Chiron, I would watch at least the week before and the week after my personal engagement with self-destructive tendencies, post-traumatic tendencies and behaviors in my life, in my character and in my environment and people around me. Because these are times that we could be our own worst enemies if we're not aware. Our self-destructive tendencies could raise their head in our lives so we could actually recognize them and be brave enough to tend to them. And how do we tend to them with love and caress, not with anger and shame? So really watch not to hurt yourself or hurt others through this time and watch your health more closely. Um, this is a time that can provide healing if you are striding with awareness and early next week we have venus squaring jupiter so just don't overdo it with eating too much rich food or drinking too much it's a time that we could gain weight it's a time that we can overindulge or ask our partners to overindulge with us and get pissed off that they're not as free and explore it uh, uh, with an exploring nature an optimistic, exploring, happy-go-lucky nature as we would like them to be, or we could be ac uh, accused that we are not like that by our partners. So lower your demands of your partners through next week. That's about everything I had to say. Again, I'm excited. I'm coming in April to Europe and the States. And if you want to uh, um, have a session with me personally, I have very limited time, but I have time for a few sessions. So you can contact me. All the uh, details are at the end, at the slide, and of course for private readings and for private lessons or groups, contact me as well. Thank you for listening and thank you for sharing these videos. Thank you for your support and love. On behalf of Georgia and myself, we wish you a great week and weekend, and we wish that you live long, spread the light, within and without, and prosper. Amen.